It was a family-filled Thanksgiving for Sarah Jessica Parker and Matthew Broderick. On Monday, November 27, their son James Wilkie shared photos from his time in California, where the family appeared to spend the holiday. While the Instagram post featured some shots of himself with friends and at a Los Angeles Lakers game, one snap pictured him laying in bed with his famous parents and his 14-year-old twin sisters, Tabitha and Marion Loretta. Cheers California, he captioned the upload. At the moment, James, 21, is still undecided what kind of career he'll pursue, though he has shown an interest in acting. Recently, I've tried it out a little bit. I tried it out and really liked it, so that'll be great. But I have a lot of things that could work out, so I'm not, like, super worried about it," he told a reporter earlier this year. I'm still in college. Right now I have time to try things out, but when I get back to school, I won't have a lot of time to, like, do other stuff, because it's hard. The dad of three offered him some words of wisdom when it comes to showbiz. Just keep at it as long as you really love it, you know? If you don't like it, don't go crazy sticking to it," Roderick shared when they attended an event together. I always feel funny telling people, stick with it no matter what sometimes, but people who do stick with it tend to really love it, so I guess that takes care of itself. But take it one step at a time and don't take it too personally. Nonetheless, James is happy to support his parents' projects, having accompanied them to multiple Hollywood shindigs. Most recently, the young adult tagged along for the June premiere of Broderick's Netflix film No Hard Feelings. He's done all right. He's had a lot of exposure lately. The Ferris Bueller's Day Off lead quipped of James getting used to the spotlight. He just came with me to this Father of the Year thing and now he's my date tonight. James recently admitted that he has tuned in for his mom's show and just like that, though he feels he should watch Sex and the City first. I tried to watch the new one and I liked it but then I felt weird because I haven't watched the original. It felt a little weird to be watching the newer one having not watched it, even if it's accessible, he said. I guess it's kind of obvious why maybe I hadn't watched the original show as a kid. But now I don't really have an excuse. People ask like, oh, is that awkward for you? There's like a lot of risque scenes. That's not that big of a deal for me, said the college student. I think I just was a little too young before.